Hi, uh, this is Gamer Tillman, and I just wanted to give you a brief tutorial on how to set the arcade order um, in Mugen. Some people might fall into a little bit of difficulty with this uh, simply because there's a key element that I see a couple of videos floating around out there forget to add in. And I wanted to show you what that is real quick. So let's start by opening up the select.def file that is located in the data folder inside your Mugen folder, wherever that might be. I also want to say a couple of quick things before we start. If you have a screen pack, what I'm about to show you does not make a difference. Just make sure that your select and system.def files are the ones that came with your screen pack. Sometimes you'll install that and then in a separate folder it'll have the select and system that you have to copy over to the data folder. Make sure you've already done that because if you don't there might be a little bit of issues with compatibility um, but make sure you go ahead and do that and you'll be all set. Alright so I'm going to start by opening these two things real quick. All right. Alright, to my right I have the bottom of the select folder, and to my right I have where my characters are at. Alright, this should be fairly easy to show you here. Alright, look all the way down at the bottom of your select folder. Alright, I happen to be running the Eve screen pack, it's all the way down here on my select, should be on everything. Um, now, you see where it says arcade matches. This is where you're going to be setting your order. Alright. For example, this first comma number, that means first stage, second stage order, third stage order, fourth and so on. Okay, you can do that all the way up to eight. Okay. If I say one here, that means there's one character, if you look over here, there's one character that I have that has order equals zero. So I typed in, after my character name, the joker comma, space, comma, space, order equals zero. Quick thing I want to talk to you about is you must, sorry, order equals one, you must have this set up. You must have either a comma, space, then your stage name, comma, space, and order, or you have to have at least the two commas there with the space in between them, then the space order. Um, basically you need that format so it can read your line of code. Um, if you don't have those two commas there blank as a placeholder or have the stage file name there, you'll come up with an error. I've already seen people make that mistake, so make sure you do that. Alright, so it must be in that format. Make sure you have the comma, either your space and stage name. Alright, so if I want a sp stage name, I just press space, name, dot, def. It will look like that. Alright. Alright. Now, the order. The Joker is set to order equals one. Alright, since there's only one of him, the first order, I put one. If there was two characters that had order equal one, I'd put two. Now, why would I have two characters of order equal one? Or for that matter, have two for you know second order third or so on why would I have more than one well the reason for that is so your computer can randomize if I have two order equal one then that means it's going to randomize in between those two order ones okay so let's say Wonder Woman was set to order equal one then I'd have two of them set to one so I'd write two there instead of a one. It's that simple. You do that with everything. Just make sure these numbers match how many of that particular order it's pertaining to. So the first one is order one, second one's order two, and so on and so forth. And that number corresponds to how many there are. Okay? It's that simple. Don't make it any more confusing than that. The very last thing I want to tell you is that even if you have a buttload of characters, you absolutely positively must have this syntax in there. You must have the comma, space, comma, space, order, or have the comma, space, 
name of the stage, you know, stage, set that up, comma, space, order. All right. Now, for whichever ones you don't want to be randomized into, make sure to type in order equals zero to whichever ones you don't want in your order. Okay? And it's as simple as that. Um, just make sure. Um, a good thing to do is to type in comma, space, comma, space, order equals zero, and press control C to copy that. And every time you add a new character, you're going to copy and paste that right next. So if random select was a character name, I just, you know, pop that right in there. All right? So make sure you do that. Because if you don't put order equals zero, whatever character doesn't have that, will automatically be randomized into every single stage. So you don't want that. So make sure whichever ones you don't want, you put order equals zero. And that is the most important part along with that format. Okay? That should take care of all your questions. Um, in every screen pack, I don't care what you are, you're going to look very similar. All right? Remember, you're only putting your characters in the random select zones. All right? Doesn't matter. Sometimes you'll see little asterisk stars or you'll see the word blank there. Um, just forget about those. You're just going to put wherever it says random, you're going to type in your character folder name. All right? So make sure that's done properly too. You should already know how to insert your characters by this point if you're looking up, you know, your arcade order. All right? So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope it helped. I tried to keep it as short as possible. If you have any questions, just drop me a message, and um, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right? So you have a good one, guys, and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.